Good morning, CSC. Hey, yeah. It is another Wednesday. We are here again, but it's not Saturday yet. I think Ray's still safe, right? Was that this week or last week? Anyway. What's that? It's not Saturday. Talk about this. It's not last Saturday. Saturday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We are on yeah, that's Saturday for this week. Oh, okay. All right, so, Ray, you sent out some updates? Oh, man, yeah, we have updates of the yin-yang that we have to catch okay. up to all through the weekend and Monday. So we jump right into it. Saturday, the update that went out on Saturday, some bankers have been very excited today at work, waiting for the go signal. Quote, nosebleed, end quote, rates are being communicated to us supposedly at the bank's discretion. Now, remember, the high opening rate for the dinar was up for discussion to be reduced but died due to lack of consensus. We shared that with you a few days ago. The top major banks, along with the lead bank, had a conference with Treasury and supposedly Mnuchin to discuss Undisclosed particulars leading to an announcement on Monday. Hmm, I wonder. Then we had a member reports receiving a call from such and such bank. They inquired about their currency amounts. After learning they did not meet whale status, they were told they would have to wait until tomorrow, which would have been Sunday. Only whales are preferred today, is what they were being told on that Saturday. Also on Saturday, some banks are reportedly coming in on Sunday at very, very early a.m. hours. And the note supposedly is the word of choice until solid confirmations come to surface. Capisce? Then on Sunday update, the CBI governor and the finance minister had a meeting today and agreed to send the white papers with the economic reforms to Parliament on Tuesday. And then the Monday update said, even though today is a holiday, some bank exchange locations are being manned, just in case, I guess. And then we had a Tuesday update. We pull that one up. Parliament also announced meeting with the blocks to review the final completion of Article 140. A key concern regarding Parliament's meeting today stated approval of the white papers, which have economic and financial reforms, and is the number one priority. This will end the financial crisis in Iraq. An Iraqi bank contact expects the third and final reading to be on Saturday before a vote is taken. And those are the updates, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Okay. So the update to the update is um, the, um, the Council of Ministers did review the white paper and did approve the white paper. Council of Ministers. And I just tweeted that out to you guys so everybody can see it for themselves. Well, we already knew that because al Kazimi said he's going to send it to Parliament today. It was, in fact, well, hopefully it is at Parliament today. Parliament did meet today, but they broke up the meeting after the Shiites and the Kurds started throwing shoes at each other. They concluded the meeting and have not yet set a time for the next meeting. So we don't know. They take the vote. It didn't take the vote. They said it was priority. All we know right at this moment is they ended up throwing shoes at each other and closed the meeting. So that's what we're waiting to see as far as that goes. Our our contact owner I thought they would vote today and we would see it on tomorrow, Thursday. Thought we would actually see it. Even though the banker thinks we won't see it until Saturday. Our contact thought we would see it tomorrow. 
And we wait and see, depending on what happens to that. Uh, the bank did meet at a meeting with the Treasury again yesterday. So they had a meeting Saturday. Thought it was going Monday. They had one yesterday. The bank is on high alert and are saying it could go at any time. Now, while they had that meeting yesterday and they are on high alert, nobody knew they were going to be throwing shoes at each other today, which you guys know is the ultimate insult over in Iraq. So that's where we are with that. They are on high alert. Texas is not in. Everybody else is. Uh, Ray has the rates. I think he put them out. I don't know if he did or not. But he has the uh, the rates that are on the screen as of now. And uh, we don't know if it's going to stay that way, like he said. For it to come out like that is kind of crazy. Did get an update from some of our Treasury people today who said that uh, they're trying to figure out how to slowly roll this out so everybody doesn't panic and try and go to the bank at the same time, even though we have the 800 numbers and everything out there. And something I didn't tell you guys, which is still current, there are some banks we did talk about it before, who are saying they are having an issue getting their people to want to come and do this because of the virus. Some people who were scheduled to do exchanges are now saying they don't want to put their family in danger. It's not worth it to them to be around this many people. People are just scared, you know. So, um, they're trying to rearrange that a little bit based on the people they do have, how they can reschedule it. You know, they, so they've been working on that for about a week, to tell you the truth. So I don't know how it is today. But last week when they thought that's what they ran into, they couldn't get all of their people to come to work because they refused to come in. So um, I mean, some senior people refused to come in. And they uh, said so they really didn't care because of their job or not. They weren't going to put their family in danger. But anyway, we'll see what happens, guys. Everybody's there, ready to go. Uh, this is what I can tell you guys. And I told you last week, and I feel absolutely, absolutely 100%, even more so today. Because there's another new group, a new group, they formed their own group of protesters that came out yesterday, and they're calling themselves the final chance or something to that effect. The final chance or close to the last or what they saying, this is it, you're over and done with. So... Uh, Anyway, there's a new group that's out and said they refuse to let any politicians or anybody else be part of their group, lead their group, or anything else, okay? Um, it's only going to be people from the protests, martyrs, people who were arrested. But the big thing is, again... They gave out the same date. They put their tents and stuff up today. They are ready today. And they are starting to group up today. But they are they're giving the government fair warning. If reforms aren't completed by the 25th, it will be like no other. <laughs> and that's what they're saying. And they said they're only going to go for two things. Starting the 25th. And that is victory or death. That's a proclamation they made today. I personally don't think the new Iraqi government wants to go through what the old one went through. I don't think they've gotten this close of bringing other countries in. Everybody's agreeing now to let them be part of their banking system. they got investors looking at coming in that they're going to let this fall by the wayside once again because 
that's what would happen. Because everybody's got to back up. If they're all back out there in the streets again, riding, burning tires, blocking our streets, put them back to square one. I just don't see them being able to survive that again. And I, I just hope they're smarter than that anyway. I would think they are. And at the least, I hope that they are. So I said before, I, I, I see this going, you know, it might go right up to the 25th. I don't know. But I, I, I think we should see it before then. I know they're pushing it for them. And the word that I got from Washington is, you know, in the next 10 days, it will definitely be completed. But that was their words, not mine. That was their words. It, it will be completed in the next 10 days. So we'll see what happens. All right. Let's do what we do, Ray. You're up. Okay. 